Hey friends, myself Aman Watts welcomes you uh, to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you about project selection methods, various methods of project selection. Uh, this is uh, experienced multiple times in an organization that uh, organization gets two or more projects but uh, keeping all constraints in mind like team availability or other factors one project is selected or maybe based on the capability of the organization they need to select the project so there are certain selection methods on which basis you need to select the project video is a little longer but to understand the whole concept please uh, watch the video till end so friends uh, when we talk about project selection method generally uh, there are two different models one is decision model and one other one is mathematical approach uh, sorry one is comparative approach and another one is mathematical approach which is more accurate in fact when we talk about comparative approach comparative word itself suggests the comparison so uh, once you have uh, two or more projects in hand and you want to select one or maybe uh, that depends i mean you want to select something then uh, you can adopt comparative approach or you can adopt a mathematical approach in comparative approach when we talk about benefit measurement and uh, methods or benefit measurement comparisons then we can use cost benefit analysis we can use economic model we can use net present value we can use scoring models we can use discounted cash flow we can use internal rate of return irr when we talk about mathematical approach then we have constraint optimization methods like linear programming and so on that i'll tell you in detail uh, while going for, while progressing in the video so uh, in nutshell you have two uh, basically one is comparative approach another one is mathematical approach so uh, guys when we talk about uh, selecting a project or prioritizing a project so basically we look for feasibility physical feasibility whether the organization is really capable or is, is, is it physically feasible for the organization to undertake this project second one is a social and cultural change third is organizational environment fourth is environmental asset for example if some organization is working in um, field of information technology you cannot expect him to take on a project of construction or if uh, the organization is working for software development you may not expect uh, from him to go for uh, hardware implementation though they may carry out that depends on the organization but so these are certain characteristics so uh, when we when we put for example if we talk about this is funnel we put customer requirement opportunities new ideas strategic plan and problems put in together then we are able to prioritize our project or define project prioritization project selection method benefit measurement method motherboard peer review scoring model cash flow analysis technique uh, i think uh, i need to create one video for every aspect like motherboard peer review or, or let me just tell you motherboard is a group of a group of people sit together and they the projects are discussed with them and they said we say okay with this we are not going to do this we are going to do so this is kind of motherboard peer review is when your peer is reviewing the calculation which you have done scoring model projects are um, uh, given weightage based on uh, certain parameters and based on their scores the project is selected upon cash flow uh, analysis what is payback period what is net present value what is internal rate of return what is return on investment so these are cash flow analysis i'm going to speak about these terms and values in my next video which you will be getting tomorrow so these are project selection method from benefit measure or comparative you can call it when we call it mathematical approach so we have constraint optimization model i was talking about like linear dynamic integral non-linear multi-objective programming so this is completely mathematical and quite complex as well uh, when you when you really want to go into the deep and uh, take right decision in selection of the uh, project then maybe you need to follow mathematical model but uh, for that you really need a good amount of data and uh, input parameters so guys these were uh, basically uh, project slash selection methods and as i said uh, about payback period present value net present value internal rate of return return on investment at opportunity cost i am going to speak 
into my next video so till the time you please subscribe my channel aman watts enjoy learning thank you very much stay connected take care bye bye